What's up, guys? The 43 Podcast, back at it again. We got a great episode. Today we talked about... We talked about wine bars. We talked about scary movies. Scary movies. And we talked a little bit about... about good wives. About good good wives. Good, good wives, Good too. and bad wives. Good and, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, just tune in. 43 Pod. 43 Pod. 43 Pod. 43 Pod. Uh... Judas. Katie, help. help. Judas, yeah. uh, it's the wrong band for the company that I'm in. Da, 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 da. What is it? It's Judas Priest. Jude, uh, yeah. See, that's why I don't know. Uh, that, yeah, I know that the riff. riff you know. That, that riff, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm ashamed. Of, I didn't catch on. It reminds me of one of... Uh, a guy we used to go to school with. An old friend. Yeah. Uh, he was Romanian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he was like... He, he was he was like humming that song, mm. you know, and I was I was impressed. You know? yeah. I was like, whoa, hey, like you listen to Judas Priest, and he was like, Judas Priest, mm. and he like he didn't know what it was. He didn't even know. I was like like that song you're humming, and he yeah. was like, oh, no, I don't know what that is. And then he played me the song he was he was uh, humming, <laughs> and it was like this <laughs> like Romanian trumpet band that did a cover of that song. Oh, and he thought that was, <laughs> was the actual yeah, he thought song. That was the song, and it was like <laughs> all these guys on trumpets, like. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was. I thought that was funny. That that was funny. I wasn't there, but I I enjoyed that. Story. You enjoyed it though. I enjoyed that story. Anyway, the Forty Three Podcast. It's back again, better than ever, actually. Welcome back. We're joined by a guy in the chair Hi. who hasn't taken a hiatus yet. No. We Thank were you close today. Chair. We were really close today, actually. Really? Really close. No. I appreciate the, the eff- extra effort then. Yeah, it was extra effort on yeah. my part, actually. Yeah. What are we going to talk about today? Uh, we could sit here in silence for... Should we sit here in silence for a little bit? Yeah, we could, we could talk about the Kanye West anti-Semitism stuff. I, uh, as always, I am a bit out of the <laughs> loop. I, yeah, I, know, I, also, I, I also think that's some real shit. Well, I, I know that he tweeted that something about Jews. Yeah, some shit is that, about Is him. that it? Or I mean, not yeah. like it, I, I, that I, it I, wasn't I, a big deal, but was that it or was there anything else that happened? I think there was a lot of stuff that happened, to be honest. Like, he really has popped off lately on, on, uh, on like, claiming that they run everything. Mm. And I, I guess sort of blaming them for stuff. I, I, honestly, I'm also a little bit out of the loop. I only know that... Well, he's been saying some crazy stuff about the Jews. Yeah. And he's being dropped by a lot of stuff. And rightfully so. Adidas. But Adidas, for instance. Yeah. And the, the, and there's the Foot Locker and the Gap are no longer selling his yeah his shoes. That That's crazy. But is he... Because um, he, he, he has some sort of... He's diagnosed with something, right? Yeah, bipolar. Yeah. Was, was it one else. of those things that... I think not, so. Not to blame it on that, but... I, mean, I, I think so. I think that's what he's going through. <clears throat> and he, uh, he also was like, he, he was on a podcast recently. Have you guys, do you guys know who Lex Friedman is? Yeah. You know I've, who Lex I've, Friedman is? I've never is. listened to him, but I know of him. Yeah, I know of him as well, but I've never listened to him. Uh, I guess we're not doing our podcast research. Huh? Nah, but Lex, I, I hate all those guys. Why? That's on the this record. Lex Friedman guy <laughs> is kind of like, he's really like, uh, he's quite analytical and yeah. like i've uh, heard i've heard a, a, a very good interviewer yeah and he also does these like two two hour two and a half hour yeah yeah sort of long episodes i know you like that shit i don't I, I, fuck I don't hate that. him that was too that was too fast of me but when i hear about mm. these people who are supposedly uh, an objective voice yeah. in society it makes me a bit suspicious but i've never listened to him so i can't say it say shit. i think it's probably a really interesting conversation because lex friedman is uh jewish Mm. And then he's talking to Kanye West, who is like, yeah. And yeah, about on that podcast, Kanye said that he's been off his med for like meds for like two years or something. Mm. It's like, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. probably not, uh, probably not a good idea, yeah. considering what's going on. But there's also theories that uh, he wants Adidas to drop uh, the Yeezy. Like they, they want them. He wants them to drop him mm. so that he can build. Yeah, Yeezy for himself. Mm, he wants to free himself, free himself from that, and that's corporate. why he's going on like going beast mode. Well, he's that, going it, sicko mode. It seems to work. It seems if you really, go full sicko mode, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, and it did. But for me, um, when these things happen, I, I'm interested in looking at how people react to this shit because uh-huh. 
everybody wants to condemn him and maybe rightfully so uh-huh. but i feel like a lot of people just want to it's a form of like virtue signaling like look at mm-hmm. me i'm so good for condemning kanye west for saying this shit. Uh-huh. And, and maybe maybe you should but i'm wondering like mm-hmm. how much do you actually care about what he said and how much do you care about just appearing a certain way I, <laughs> that's just me no, you know I, me no, I, i understand that perspective on things yeah however when someone with like Does anybody have more star power than Kanye West right now? Maybe mm. the Kardashian. A yeah. Kardashian, Joe Biden. Joe, I don't even think honestly Joe Biden has, has star star power. power than that. Yeah, <laughs> like the clips of Joe Biden that go viral are just basically him in interviews, like yeah. half like falling asleep, and he's like, "Sleepy Ugh. Joe." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> the interviewer is like, "Oh." Yeah. You okay, Mr. President? Yeah. You had looked like you had something to say, Kitty. No. Okay. I thought you were signaling, virtue signaling. She was virtue signaling. I thought you were signaling uh, uh, an update on something. No, not on Kanye. Yeah, no, but I think, no, but I think, uh, I think think in this case it's good. Like when someone has like a crazy amount of star power and he's like, and he's like, hey guys, like, yeah, Jews suck. I, you, you gotta take him down a peg. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree, but I never hear of Kanye except for when I hear these things. You know yeah. what? I have to like look for them. Mm. You know, I'm not. Am I gonna out myself on the pod? Go. I'm not a huge fan of the music. That... Sorry. Yeah. I feel like I feel like uh, his best stuff is behind him. Yeah, yeah. Really old. The big old hits. Yeah, like love. Lockdown. Yeah, that's it, right? Love lockdown and I mean, do you the think college about me now and album. Then? Yeah, yeah. Homecoming. But he yeah. had, he was using some good samples. That's why. Yeah, that's true. Catchy shit. It's true. Um, you know, we could also talk about movies. What what movie? Have you seen? Have you seen any good movies lately? Have you seen Barbarian? <laughs> Fuck, I have not. I really wanted to talk about that movie today. I haven't seen any movie lately for some reason. You should watch Barbarian. Is it with who? It's with you know Justin Long. I know Justin Short. Who's that? It's a it's a his cousin Justin oh. Long's cousin, but I don't know Justin Short. Do Long. you know Bill Short? No, but I know Bill Tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, no but I don't. I I re- I recognize the name Justin Long. Yeah, he's an actor. And then there's also uh, Bill Skarsgård. That, isn't it yeah Sven the Banan I really I'm not going to spoil anything about the movie but you should mm. watch it it's a it's a horror movie oh oh that's difficult no, am I going to sit by myself and watch a horror movie ooh are well, you scared I'm I'm a little bit scared really yeah you're really actually a little bit scared yeah a little bit scared <laughs> you're actually a grown man if I if I'm going to watch a, a grown man who's a little bit scared if I'm going to watch a movie. horror movie by myself I'm a little bit scared Why? What if it's scary? But well, why? What? Why? Because because it's because it, they, these movies are scary. That's why. <laughs> okay. I understand if you're a young girl. Yeah. Oh, you mean the young girls get scared by movies more by than guys, movies? more than young boys? What Am are you I saying? Sexism here? for saying what that? Of course. <laughs> Adidas, cut this guy out. <laughs> Cut I mean, this guy out. honestly, cut me in first and then cut me out. <laughs> I mean, uh, cut him in it and then cut him out. How's that? Can- yeah, am, am I cancelable? Well, I don't know. That's not for me to say. I don't That's think I Adidas. am. I think isn't it? Uh, come on, it's it's not it's not just stereotype. This is backed by fact. I don't that, know. Mm-hmm. That Do you more, know more about this fact, Katie? Have you seen this it fact? Seems around? pretty stereotyped. You say. Okay, but I'm. A man and not scared of scary. <laughs> and scary movie doesn't scare me. Scary, it's scary. But scary movie scares you. But scary movie scares Amir. He doesn't yeah. have to watch on his own. Barely one of us. But I'm a I'm a an old man and it scares me. Yeah. Okay. No, but that's why I'm interested. That's yeah. why I'm like, from your perspective, like why, why scary movies scare me? Like, what is it you think? Like, when you go to bed. Yeah. And the lights are off in your bedroom. Yeah. And you're and only and like you you're washing up in the bathroom. And yeah. And you turn off the lights and mm. there's a dark hallway. <laughs> yeah. For instance, going to your bed. Why is it you're scared to go to your bed? Do you run? 
Uh, I'm trying to think of the last time I watched a horror movie. I don't. Rem I remember when Paranormal Activity came out. That one scared me. That was because it was psychological somehow. Huh. It wasn't a big monster somewhere. It was. It was in your head. And it was like you were watching. You thought like, what if my door closes in the middle of the something night? Something like something like that. But this was a while ago. Paranormal Activity. I think you should try it. Watch it. Because <clears throat> do you ever watch a movie now and get like a a very emotional response from a movie. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's good, right? No, yeah, that is good. It makes me feel something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But is that what I'm going to... But, okay. but Barbarian, where can yeah. I watch that movie? Disney Plus. Oh, I don't have Disney Plus. Disney I have the nowhere. Pirate Bay. Is it on the Pirate Bay? I would never condone the Bay. <laughs> no. However, it I probably love bay. is. Bay. <laughs> It's, on the it's really cheap though, Disney Plus. It's super cheap. Yeah, I I don't way pay cheaper for than any... Netflix. Way cheaper. Yeah, I mean it's like almost half the price. Yeah, I don't pay for any streaming services. So what do you do what with do your you... time? Like, what do you <laughs> sit and think? No, I I, I uh, have get, some water. I get Netflix. Watch the news every yeah. day. I get Netflix and HBO from work, which is a good mm -hmm. benefit. And then yeah, those are the two ones that I have. Maybe it'll come out on HBO, man. Barbarian. Watch it. Barbarian. If you're watching, let me, watch Barbarian. Let me put it on the list. It's yeah, because but okay, so you can watch a a comedy drama yeah. or a dramedy, mm. and you can get like a really good emotional response from yeah. it. And like yeah, huh, okay. Why is, is that, why is that weird? No, what, I, I, what are no, you getting? I, at? I don't know. Because why, why <laughs> <laughs> because if you watch a horror movie, that's yeah. actually like. Like like a horror thriller, yeah. that's something that like stimulates uh, emotion in me when mm. I'm watching it. Mm. That's like, whoa! Like what's happening? Ooh, what's gonna happen next? Like, oh, la, la, uh, la, like you an, know? an exciting feeling. That's you. exciting. That's like holy crap, holy crap! You know, like. Yeah. But if I'm watching like a war movie, yeah, and then Brad Pitt is on the front lines running, yeah, and then Tom Brady. Tom Hardy's in the tank, yeah, and he's shooting <laughs> the bad guys. You know, yeah, I'm not like. No, that, like, that, no, that wouldn't do anything for me either. More okay. than it's, maybe it's a cool scene and I get yeah. pumped. But Marriage Story. A marriage Story is, yeah, like, that, that's a drama show. I don't, yeah, I don't see myself watching it and being like. <sighs> really? No, that, that, I would be more affected by that movie than, than whatever else. Then watch, try watching a horror movie, man. Do I'll, it on your own. I'll, I'll try. It's Halloween, so. It's Halloween. It's, Stimulate that emotion within you stimulate that scary yeah i i cannot remember the last time i watched a horror movie or decided that i want to watch a horror movie yeah it doesn't happen too often yeah i guess not for me for us either mm. mostly because someone gets a little bit scaled scaled <laughs> someone gets yeah. a little scaled, scaled when the movie's scaled. scary <laughs> what is it that makes you th why like why why can't you turn off the lights and go to bed without running? You know? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's just like from being scared as a child. Scared as a child. Scared. Yeah. Yeah. But so, ten years later, fifteen years later, that same emotion is like a little bit. It's kind of like you know, like when you're a kid, it's like every night when you go to bed it's like oh the dark is scary mm -hmm. and then you grow out of it and like forget about it uh -huh. and then if you watch a horror movie like once every six months mm. and then you get kind of like reminded of that feeling where it's mm. like oh it's stimulating oh, like, it, it's a call back to kind that, of, em yeah. that emotion yeah i see it's kind of like ptsd I, I, yeah a little bit because uh -huh. as a kid you're uh -huh. like you look at the dark and you like think of all of these scary things that could be yeah. in there and now like as like an adult i'm from, not yeah i'm not as creative Inc. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i guess like i'm not like i don't Randall. lay in bed and look at the dark and like sit and think of all the bad things yeah, yeah. so then you watch a horror movie with something scary and now uh -huh. it's like something in your mind you can think about mm. Mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. more horrible than life huh um more horrible than life um i would Boom. say i don't know How's that Death? for an answer? Death, the opposite of life. Death is kind of a freedom, actually. Death, death, death is a <laughs> Never release. mind. I death mean, holy release. shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. What did I do yesterday? Uh, I was on a date yesterday. 
How's that, for a, se- how's that for a segment? <laughs> Is this what you want? Should we stand up as well? <laughs> that was such a bad segment. No, but or walk me through inter- it. What? No, but, segue, I'm not, I'm not, I'm interested. I'm interested. Um, walk me through I, it, I, I was at a wine bar. Ever been to a wine bar, Henrik? Is it the one on Drottninggatan? Uh, no, this one This one was somewhere in... Because so, so, we usually go to the one in Drottninggatan. Well, this one was... We really so, do, actually. So, Sodermalm. Sodermalm? Sodermalm. They do some... Listen, as a wine connoisseur, yeah, I know the Riesling. I, I would, yeah. I, I know, I know the Campo de Viejo. Yeah, and you know that I don't know shit about wine, but uh, I, that job seems. So, I want to have that job. The the people, who the wine serve, yeah, connoisseur, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, because they come up and it's always this chill what uh, vibe. Vibe? You were gonna <laughs> this say chill vibe? vibe. I'm, it's scary, gonna... <laughs> scary vibe. This, wait, this is the second time. <laughs> nice with the scary vibe. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but this is the second time you you say vibe. I know, I know. It's scary you that I start saying that. <laughs> oh my god! And they're Swedish. I'm Swedish. No, no. the secret is out. Uh-huh. No, and um, no, but I because it's always chill, mm-hmm. a chill vibe. Yeah, because they come up and they're yeah. like, and did you so bust inside? What do you guys, what do you guys want, Hendrickson? Please, I apologize. Katie. At the end of the night, I apologize at the end of the night for that. Did you bust inside of her pussy? I didn't bust anything i only busted some doors open uh but i i uh, what else we got to talk about uh some boring <laughs> shit man i mean no i'm kidding i am interested and i apologize <laughs> I for the busting there's something about vibe <laughs> something about the chill the i, I apologize a, for my, my comments and i also apom- apologize for the vibes <laughs> thank you let's talk but i am interested i genuinely am, am interested so let's talk about it it's chill they come up and they go like what what do you what what part of the world are you in the mood for today? You know that kind of that kind of okay, talk. Like yeah, oh, I yeah. got this, and then they and then me, I'm like I I will admit I will never pretend shit. So I mm. I, t- I tell her like I don't know anything. Almost like look at me. Mm. Do I look like I'm wearing forty three podcast? Forty three. Do you think I know anything about <laughs> what I part of the world like, I'm interested yeah. in today? And then, uh, but then she's really nice and she goes like, oh, you know, okay, well, what do you like? You know, and then you go, and I don't even know how to describe wine. Mm. So I just say something light and crispy. And then she goes like, oh, I have this thing from Austria. It's from this grape. Do you know about this grape? La, 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 la. And it's kind of nice. You get the trivia and everything. And then she gives me the thing and then you're supposed to taste it. Mm. And I don't know. I just do what everybody else does. Just swirl and then just this. (laughs) And then. And then you look at it as well, yeah. you know, like you tilt the glass yeah. and look. And, like, mm. and I tried it and, and then I liked it. And then the other time she was like, do you want to try something else? She brings something else in and I actually sent it back once. No. Yeah. Usually I just the go, great I, just, I just go with what they give me, but I, I tried it and I was like, I actually don't like the taste of this. Was it a red? No, I just want uh, white. And then she gave me another one. I was like, oh, this one is perfect. Okay. This so it was perfect. a white wine that you didn't like. What was it about it that you didn't like? The one that I didn't like, it was too fruity. Kind of like you then. <laughs> too fruity. Enough of Enough that, with that Enough of that cancelable material right there. I know, there. man. But it's, we got to try. We got to try to get cancelled. Um, so, yeah. I Kanye West style, you know? Yeah. Three three glasses and then uh, just this small place and we just talked and it was it was a really nice time. Was it cheese of... involved? Do you do cheese? No. Because that's that shit like... That's that movie shit, you know, where you're, mm. you're just basically doing it because you saw a Owen Wilson movie. Yeah. And he had wine and cheese. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They had more than that. They had these different... I don't even remember. They had snails too, I think. Wow, Whatever that's hard to Yeah. But I just went for the wine and uh, I recommend it. I want to go back to a wine bar. I don't go often, if at all. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm not a wine guy. I'm really not. But you would like the vibe. The, really wi- the, vibe? the vibe the vibes are nice was it loud no just quiet and quiet like chill vibe. people are just kind of mingling but it feels like a place you have to go yeah, like on a date yeah like you can you and i go we could go if we if we're like interested in wine and just because some people are just really interested in wine which we're not so we can't <laughs> yeah. but you and katie should go are we interested in wine i forget are you guys dating Maybe. I mean, I've been with Alex. Yeah. And like, and I, I enjoy, but it's never like my idea. You mm. 
I don't know. Yeah. I never think to like, let's go to a wine bar. Yeah, it's just, it's just not for me, man. I think it makes me a little sick. Yeah. You know? Red, especially. I can do yeah. a white. Yeah, I, but I, red I feel wine. like that. I feel a lot of like, uh, of like you sit, you're sitting there and then you have like all these glasses of wine and then I really feel the like, when you stand up, you know, mm. and then I'm like, I feel a bit sick, actually. <laughs> yeah, mm. and that never happens to me if I'm just drinking rum and coke. Yeah, because the purpose is to get fucked up, you know. Yeah, but but there, are, you you go there for the ambiance, I would say. But if you only go for ambiance, yeah, like going to, that's something actually. The one thing I would bring from the UK to Sweden is pub culture, because mm. like the same vibe. Mm. except that it's a pub where you drink beer mm. and then like you know they're like there there's a dog there as well and like you go to the guy and the guy's super nice mm. here it's really like it's really like they don't even say a word to you they they do this they go this yeah you know, this. <laughs> barely that and then like, he has a seizure and dies <laughs> you're like why <laughs> anybody <laughs> help we need a doctor in there <laughs> Yeah. You, oh, wait. Sorry. You know what else? What other movies really good that people should watch? Uh, maybe they've seen it. Blood Red Sky. Really good. Really good movie. Yeah. It's about a vampire that is on a plane that gets hijacked. Oh. Okay. Horror movie. Horror movie. Really good. Yeah. But uh, I, I would bring pub culture because it's such a it's such a vibe, man. Mm. Like like I want to talk to a guy who's really nice and he's like he asks about me, you know, yeah. and I'm like. I'm blushing a little, you know. But don't they have? They have. They must have some good British pubs here somewhere. I, I think the closest thing is probably the Dubliner. Mm. And then, and then, and then, even then, it's like, it's or uh, Vidstrom. No, no, Dubliner is probably the best vibe. I, I would say. Yeah, yeah. But. Otherwise, it's like you know, people will say that like, actually that like nightlife in Stockholm is really bad. Do you people, agree? Uh, I don't. No, I don't necessarily. Um, I don't know. Halfway agree. Yeah, we it's, have two girls in there who who agree. Yeah. In the other room, who said that nightlife in Stockholm sucks. Yeah, I, well, I don't know too much about the nightlife. Neither do I actually. So it's Honestly, hard to I don't say. know anything about anything. That that is clear. But yeah, that was that was the, my wine bar experience. Are you, good, are you gonna go good, on a second? Good day? wipes. I don't know. Was the how was the vibes? It was good. It was good. It was it was chill. Um I don't I don't know. I don't even know why I go on dates anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight, straight up. <clears throat> okay. We can get into it. No. No, I know, but I'd love I, to get into no, it. No, I, <laughs> I just no, I really don't I really don't know. I it's a, it's it's fun. And then whatever happens, happens. <laughs> <laughs> there's no I, clear. I, I have a really you can you cannot answer if you like yeah well this will be the first time that you don't answer a question on the pod i think really so i think i should go old school yeah and ask you if i can ble- ask you a question a bleep uh you can but when it, wait is it okay for you if i don't answer the question it's okay for me okay aren't you interested in finding a long-term partner you think I wouldn't answer that? It's kind of deep, no? <laughs> it's kind of, like, like uh, obviously, I can ask you something really intimate. Like, yeah. have you ever stared into your own asshole? <laughs> now that I can't answer. <laughs> yeah, because you have. So, but uh, um, yeah, isn't that why you would go on a date? Like, you're trying to find a. It's possible, or yeah, that would maybe be the best outcome. <laughs> that maybe, but sometimes I go, okay. and I'm not sure why I go. Okay. <laughs> because if you go in with that mindset, it's not going to happen. Oh, I'm I'm finding the one today. Yeah, or I'm yeah. hoping that this will be the one or something like that. Yeah. But it just butchers it somehow. But uh, what's that quote? Like luck is uh when preparation meets something. When something meets something, that's preparation meets like effort or yeah, yeah. something like that. Uh like yeah, I can't, preparation I'm, meets opportunity. Preparation meets opportunity. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I guess, Some, but but like it doesn't that. it doesn't necessarily reflect what it is I want to say. Mm. You know, like the grind. Mm-hmm. Like if, if someone's out there grinding every day, yeah, and then someone discovers them and they're like, 
whoa, lucky. Yeah. You're yeah. so lucky. Yeah. Like, that's not luck. Like, no. Like, like, uh, like, uh, um, uh, some people get really lucky. You know? mm. Like, but, but let's, let's take, for example, a friend of the show, Tio. He's like, he's like, he is incredibly lucky to live the life that he lives. It's really great. And he's living his dream job, but he ha- has been doing it like before he even got big to the point where he could support himself uh, financially doing it mm. full time. Mm-hmm. He had been doing it for like 10 years. Yeah. Like, he was doing it like uh, so much. Yeah. So he was on the grind yeah. a lot. And, that, and that's like, like he got, a, he got his break after doing it for so long. Yeah. 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 Which is kind of the same. It was a lot of hard work. Which is the kind of same. Like that's why you go on dates. Mm, for the grind you do it for the grind yeah and then one day you meet the person that that you that, that you know is yeah your yeah your yeah. first your first kiss my first kiss yes. but but i don't know but then sometimes i see couples and i'm like that's uh, gay <laughs> that's that yeah that's gay <laughs> what are you guys gay! holding your hands <laughs> no but i uh, you know some i don't know Sometimes, sometimes I'll just see a couple on the subway, and and they're just like leaning on each other's shoulders and like talking about what they're gonna eat tonight, mm. and, and it it sometimes doesn't f- sound very nice or look very appealing to me. I understand, and sometimes it does. Uh huh. So I don't know. It goes both way. So yeah, planning your day mm. is 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 something that you have to do every fucking day. It's like when when you are when you're a single guy, all you do is like. Go with the flow. I go. I go with the flow. You like, know? but now I, it's like I, I need like a week's heads up. Yeah. No. <laughs> if, I, if you're gonna if you're gonna ask me to go with the flow. Yeah. I need to know. This, this week I went went the flow the whole the whole week I've just went gone with the flow. Yeah. Just something random every single day. Yeah. But I'm also not lonely. Huh? I'm also not lonely though. Well, that's good. Are you lonely? Well, I'm uh, I'm alone. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm lonely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How many minutes left? I'm, I mean, I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, man. <laughs> no, I don't know. Not dating is tricky. but Yeah. But so your answer to why you don't, or my answer to why you don't go, or why you go on dates, mm. that's it. You're going to grind. You're on, Consider I'm it on. hustle culture. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so, and some people say like these things should just happen naturally. And then some people say that you have to go on a grind to mm. find it. So I don't know what's true. I, I think I think you should try a different app. Yeah. I think it's you're on dr- the Tinder. Yeah. And that place is poison. Yeah, that 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 is a poisonous app. But you were a long time. You were a founder of it, basically. Co-founder. Yeah. Co-founder. There was a point in time which in which you had swiped the entirety of Stockholm. Th- thanks to um, Jake and Amir, if I were you, show Who podcast. Who mention our guests on the <laughs> show? <laughs> Who will be? Yeah, they're on a future maybe, episode. Um, Who will maybe be a guest on the show one day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm saying at the moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah let me check my note here. Because I... Yeah, I got stuff. You got, you got anything, JTC? Um, <clears throat> I was gonna ask if you guys had seen. Oh yeah. Uh, Elon Musk basically saying he's too smart to play chess. No. <laughs> uh, someone uh, on Twitter, someone asked him, "Oh, do you still play chess?" And his answer was, "I did as a child, but found it to be too simple to be useful in real life. A mere eight by eight grid." No fog of war, no technology tree, no random map or spawn position. Only two players, both sides exact the same. So he's kind what of. Can we say to that? He's kind of like asking it to be a video game. What? <laughs> you know, he's like, he, like. He's basically saying that he prefers video games. Yeah, he's like, in a like, way. yo, where's the fog of war? Yeah. Like, no fog of war on the chessboard. Yeah, I understand, Elon. <laughs> like, I. That's what's crazy about this is I understand mm. me personally I, I don't see chess as a fun game like yeah. if you were, if you asked me like on our lunch break at school to play chess I'd be mm. like no yeah, okay, yeah. sorry guy but no I didn't play I don't even remember how to play it barely 
I do not, uh, uh, but I'm good at chess. But I don't yeah. play anymore because it's too simple. It's for too me. simple. You prefer <laughs> the fog of war. Yeah, I think that's a classic fucking Elon Musk. Like, yeah, you um, know, he's what, what is he? He's Asperger's. He's probably on the spectrum yeah. somehow. He's something. As they say, yeah, he's something. Yeah, but it feels like a classic. Like, uh, like, like, there's no. He, he can't just say no. He has to know? be too smart for yeah, it. Yeah, he has to be like, no. Actually, according to my calculations. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, what we were talking about last week, you know, like, uh, like what's, uh, what's, uh, uh, the, the thing that people have their like personality personality based based what, on people that's really their, yeah. yeah, 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 and being and, smart. and and yeah, and that's it, being like a, a, a nerd basically, being a nerd, and he's like, hmm, actually, uh, I prefer to play. Uh, Settlers of Catan. Yeah, because he even probably that he, might be a good game. He probably gets off on it. I think he gets off on it. Yeah. 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 There's also, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, something kind of controversial maybe we should talk about. Really? You see this Jubilee video? No. No, it's cut, huh? Cut, yeah. They have this guy blindfolded. Okay. Yeah. I Jubilee some... Jubilee is a U- YouTube channel, right? Yeah. It's kind of the same thing as cut, you know, like cut. They do like social experiments. Okay. 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 And, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's actually this red buzzer. Have you yeah. seen those? I've seen a red buzzer. Yeah, it's like they go on a date, and then there's a buzzer, and mm-hmm. then it lights up, and mm-hmm. you can push if you want to X them. Oh, okay. You haven't seen this shit? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. God, you know yeah. I'm out of the loop. Like, I'm <laughs> completely just out no, of the loop. But you used to watch you videos know like that all, all yeah. the fucking time <laughs> yeah, at work. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen this one. <laughs> but we would take so much, like, we would steal so much from these shows. Oh, when we were working. <laughs> working. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, there's a red buzzer. He can push the button if he wants to send them away. Mm. And then he, uh, the guy, he's a handsome dude. Mm. Did you say he's handsome? Yeah. Enough! <laughs> Not that handsome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, uh, <laughs> and he's just there with the button. And then they have like these girls come in. Mm-hmm. No, it's, they, a lo- it's a ton of people. Like it's there a ton was of people, guy, and men was, and women. Yeah, but it's but they're all blindfolded. Yeah, yeah, they're all blindfolded, and they send two of them in at the beginning. Mm. And if this person buzzes this person out, then they send one in this side. But then this yeah. person could buzz this one, and then they send one in. But the per the point is that yeah, they're blindfolded, the- and they can't. So it's not a physical attraction mm. kind of thing. So until they until until I guess they say yes, let's go on a real mm. date. Okay. But the guy is sitting there, and he's blindfolded, and uh, like. Bigger people come in. Yeah. Can we say that? You can say fat. Can we say they're bigger? You can say fat people. Don't ever say that again. I think it's more respectful to say fat. Okay, they're they are (laughs) fat. (laughs) Hey, 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 big big is sort of condescending. It's like you're hiding something. Yeah. It's like I'm awesome. Yeah. It's not bad for me to say. Yeah. I'm awesome. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Yeah. I don't entirely agree, but please go on. Okay. Yeah. Big people. They're big people. And then they're talking and they're like, la, 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 la. And then this guy would always ask if he could, like, give him a hug. Yeah. And then he would hug them. Oh, and Therefore, then ergo de facto, he came to the facto. conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Called back to the James Corden yeah. episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And then, and then they would sit back down and he'd buzz them out. Hmm. Now... What is your what is your thoughts on this? Because this guy is receiving a lot of hate hate for it. Okay, so he did it because he noticed that the person was big, and in their voice, no, when he when he felt them up, he noticed when that he, were, hey yeah. when he hugged them when he, he hugged, didn't feel them up <laughs> when he hugged when okay. just, <laughs> yeah. Um, look, I don't blame him. That's everybody cancelable? No, everybody knows. Everyone knows in a relationship. A key component Go is on. that you're attracted to the other person. It exactly. goes both ways. So he probably just knew I'm not that that doesn't feel attractive to me. It's not. You're not, and you're not wrong. I, I, yeah. That's that's honestly my opinion. Yeah, and and to be a little bit more cancelable, yeah. I feel you're walking on eggshells. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to break all the eggshells. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it make it makes sense to me because. Like just just in the same way that uh, girls don't like short guys, mm. like like and some girls are like have no fucking clue what height is. They're like, 
like he needs to be at least six like six five or something yeah, yeah. and like they don't know what six five is mm-hmm. they only know that like the tall guy that they like is six something so they're like he's probably six five yeah you know? kind of a random estimate. yeah but it, but if there was a girl who was like taller you know i understand that tall girls want to date a tall guy because mm. they don't want like and that's and, and, and honestly it's like something that a ton of like short guys short, short kings get xed for yeah for being the height that they are mm-hmm. so when this guy does the same yeah it's you know she's she's too a, a certain way that he doesn't find attractive it's like yeah how can he be blamed for something that like that yeah. I, I guess. When, if, when if the girl who or like let's say that there was a girl who's blindfolded and she was hugging down mm. and then she'd x them yeah it'd be like yeah that's her preference you know i think i think she would get some hate too yeah but, but not as much yeah I, I don't know there's this shallow aspect of it that maybe people don't really appreciate mm. but but i i don't know i i can't argue against because my opinion is the same as yeah <laughs> as yours yeah there's also there's also, there's also one point where like you know honestly the it comes down to the fact that these people at this production they chose the right they knew they were blindfolding people yeah and then and they chose the right. Yeah, they wanted that to happen. They wanted too. this to happen, and they're so happy about it because now yeah. they get free. It's cut, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cut. If you go to their videos, they have like ninety thousand, a hundred thousand, and then this one's on like two million now. Exactly. Mm. So. And then you know the guy's just like, he was just there because it's like, oh, he knows the channel and he thinks it's fun. It's like, oh yeah. And yeah. now he's like being brigaded by yeah. Twitter and like they're all fucking going at him. But but. uh they knew exactly what they were doing when they put yeah that when they put someone there that was the best the best outcome for it them. was the best outcome for them because yeah. now they get free shout outs on the 43p <laughs> the ultimate the ultimate uh, shout out <laughs> the ultimate shout out from Thank the 43p e- even here yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh yeah I, I, I just, if the guy is watching mm. i support you man yeah, I, I, I honestly just unless, unless he's oh wait 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 yeah. unless it comes out that he's a real piece of shit, he could be he could be a real piece be. of shit. Yeah, but but yeah, but we don't know that I guess. Yeah, at the same time, you know, if he's a real if he's an okay guy, just that he wasn't into. Say it, you say it, vampires. If he wasn't into vampires. <laughs> And a vampire. He realized, was he realized that that was a vampire. He and, and he was and, hugging. And he realized this vampire is so mighty. Yeah. I can't get my hands the full way around her body. Yeah. It's too much vampire. It's for too much him vampire to for me to. Hold. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and if that's wrong, uh, I don't want to live in this world. I don't. Exactly. Um, we have some people recording a podcast in the studio. Yeah, we share a studio. So we were a bit late. We were a bit late. It's 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 on me. No, it's on me. I was it's also on me, late. Yeah, honestly. I was also for, late for the for the wrongful planning here. It, it's a short one, but we'll be back with a longer one. Yeah, and you know what? Now that you're a wine connoisseur, should I'd, you I'd, bring a bottle of wine <laughs> next time? Yeah. Which part of the world are you? I'm thinking interested like in South Africa. South Africa. They have some good grapes there, so I, I'll 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 hook you up with something. What kind of grapes do they have there? Oh. I'll show you next time. Don't ask me any more questions. I'll show you next time. (laughs) Jesus. Okay. 43 podcast, I guess. Thank you.